All right, welcome back, everybody. This is the GSL Code A quarterfinals. I'm Doa. With me is Moltrap. We've made it all the way to our final quarterfinal match. It's going to be NSOSO Jock G versus Marine King Prime. And, uh, yeah, Marine King Prime, let's talk about him a little bit here. Let's a, talk about him. I feel like in his wins this season, he's kind of scraped by a little bit. You know, his, his wins haven't been as convincing. I feel like his play hasn't been quite as strong as we've seen it in uh, seasons past. And Jokji is a, is a good TV tier, but he's unproven. You know, he's a newer player, hasn't had a lot of experience in the GSL yet. It's going to be yeah. an interesting match. Um, I would have to give, you know, the favor, of course, of Marine King, but I, f I feel like it could go either way again. Yeah, I think I agree with you. When, in his matches against Yu-Gi-Oh last week, Marine King won, yep. but he only won 2-1. He, yeah. he almost lost his wins, and the whole time I was kind of going like, what is he doing? Like, I yeah. was trying to figure out like what was going on, and you know, he still pulled it out, and that's how Marine King works, is he's always doing something kind of different, but he somehow makes it work anyway, just through sheer yeah. uh, uh, force of will and aggression. Um, but it looked, I don't know, it didn't look as solid as he often does. I, so I, I feel like he's kind of in a slump almost or something. I'm not sure. I mean, he did go to the up and down matches. I feel, like he's, I feel like he's going to be a lot more in his element this time around in TVT against this guy right here from the team NSO. So it's Jock G. He's had some success outside of the GSL. Now he's having some success inside the GSL. 2-0-ing OGS Lovesick and FXO Lucky. Two Zerg players. This is going to be his first TVT. Yeah. Well, he did. He, he beat Hack in the round of 32. Oh, oh, oh yeah, no, 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 I'm sorry. Did I'm, he? Thinking, no, I'm, no, I'm looking he at Marine King. I'm sorry. All right. My bad. Forget Your I said anything. That's confused me. No, it's okay. Still thinking about yeah. Marine King. No, you're right. Jock G uh, is going to be his first versus Terran in yeah. this tournament, but he has played several Terrans recently in like the I Cup tournaments. He actually beat the best, um, beat a player called Hart, lost to Tasia. Oh, and here is Marine King. Everybody knows this guy. He's been around forever. Been a finalist many times. Two yeah. O's, the next hack, and then two one. So in his only TVT this season, he did go two O. And I, I really yeah. feel like Marine King's strongest matchup is TVT. It's well, been that way for a long time. Here's the thing, though: is in the up and down matches, Marine King beat Fruit Dealer, a Zerg player, and he lost to Ryung, Dream, and Happy, all Terran players who. You know, aren't even the best Terran players. They're good, but they're not the best Terran players, and they're uh -huh. not the best. Ha ha ha. Um, uh, I see what you did there. If they're not the best, who also beat him in the I Cup tournament a, a month ago. Huh. So Terrans have actually lately been a very big problem for Marine King, even though yeah. traditionally he has done very well in TBT. And that's exactly kind of what I was talking about here. Is is Jock G has a lot of potential. I feel like his strength is in TVT lately as well. Um, a lot of the Korean Terrans seem to be strongest in TVT lately. Um, so we'll have to see what happens. Is our newcomer going to not only get to the up and down matches, but well, also take down Marine King and get to the semifinals? Jock G's um, TVT hasn't really been tested yet either. He, I mean, he beat the best. I've seen him play outside of the GSL. So I guess that's okay, kind of what okay. I'm basing it Fair on, enough. guys. Yep, he hasn't really been uh, doing it in the GS, so you'll have to trust me on this one. Okay, Ultra. okay, I'll, yeah. I'll trust you on that one. Um, Jock G decided to eliminate Crossfire, and uh, Marine King didn't want to play on Belshire Beach. Yep. Older, older school player not wanting to play on the new, them newfangled maps. Newfangled maps, get off my lawn! <laughs> um, get off my beach. Yes, but the first map is going to be getting underway here very, very soon. We're going to find out if Marine King can take the first game, if he can take it out with his experience, or will the newcomer Jock G win? All right, up at the top of the map from the team NS Hozo here in Seoul, Korea. He is a new player to the GSL. Got all the way the up and downs in his first ever Code A. He is NS Hoso Chakchi. I'm second guessing myself. It is his first ever Code A, isn't it? Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. I'm 99% sure. I'm 100% sure. Good. Down at the bottom of the map, it is our blue turn player. He used to be in Code S, now he's in Code A. Can he get back? Marine King Prime Week. Now here's the thing, Jokshi did play in the GSL Open Season 2. Right. So that's 
It was not code A, though. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he has had a little bit of GSL experience, but not too much. Thank you again to Pepsi and G-Skill for sponsoring the GSL. You guys rock. I actually drink Gatorade quite a bit. They've got, like, this new red flavor here in Korea. It tastes like red. <laughs> what? I actually don't know. No, I'm just kidding. It has, like, it tastes like flavor. red? I, I, it's just, like, the red flavor. I don't know what the actual flavor is, oh, okay. but it's good. I think it's funny how the FXO guys, they all just wear whatever FX show shirt happens to be lying around. Even like, though they have the names on the back. So, Leenock like, Leenock's wears wearing a slog shirt right now. Yeah, that's what I've seen him wear uh, most out of any of those. <laughs> They'll have their own FXO jersey soon, I'm sure. Yep. Yep. So, it looks like it's going to be a gasless expand for Jog G, whereas Marine King did get gas. So, there's a lot of ways he can go from that. We do have to wait a little bit longer before we really know what each player is going to do. Yeah. Now, oh, uh, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Second gas oh. for Marine King, actually. All right. So that could Whoa. be, uh, in general, that usually means either Blue Flame Hellions or, or uh, Banshees. More often Banshees, I would say, this early. Yep. Um, and and it, usually in the past, you would just go, oh, that means Banshees. But, you know, lately, Blue Flame Hellions True. have become so popular it's that not, you really always have given to include quite, that as well. quite anymore. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, I mean, all the Terrans are mecking right now, and, and Blue Flame Hellion is, is one of the pillars of mech. The pillars of mech, of course, being Blue Flame Hellion tanks and Vikings, although Banshees and Ravens and things have been definitely showing their importance in that matchup as well. And he is getting a reactor on his barracks, Ring King is, which would, again, further indicate, well... Not necessarily indicate, but that's kind of something you often see with a cloak banshee build. Yeah. You get the reactor barracks so you can put out a lot of marines. That's exactly right. So you can right. use up your minerals. Yep. And uh, have a lot of ground forces in case of any kind of early attacks before your banshees get out. And I, I'm waiting to see what he does with this tech lab. If it's going to be a starport or if it's going to be just a tech lab right away. Tech lab Jock going G. down on the barracks for Jock G. Jokshi really is expecting Reapers for some reason. He has not scouted anything at all, but he really is worried about Reapers. He put some Marines over on the side of his base. Well, yeah, I mean, now he's Reaper... pulling it back now that it's kind of past that timing. Oh, yeah, Reaper expands are pretty popular in TBT as well. So Tech Lab going down on that factory. There's a Starport. The Starport's not right next to the factory, though, so you know, take from that what you want to. It, it's not far enough away that it doesn't rule out. Well, he is actually producing a siege tank. Oh, interesting. Okay. So, that's curious. Back on the NA server, I would see an opening every once in a while from some of the players there where it would be a siege tank drop. Huh. Just a really fast four Marines in one tank with siege mode. Yep. And, and uh, uh, don't know if we're ever going to see that in GSL. But. Yeah, there's the medevac. Interesting. So but. it's not Banshees at all. But the thing is, is he has a lot of gas saved up right now that he's not really using, so... Um, oh, he's got about 100. Well, now it's done. Now, now he just mode. used all of it, actually, with Siege Mode. So Ooh. there you go. That and Jokji scans everything. That's actually exactly the timing for that opening that I was talking about. Because the way you do it, your Siege Mode is going to finish almost exactly when you get to your opponent's base. Now, he could just decide to walk those units across as well, which is exactly what he's doing here. And this can be really, really strong. Um, a lot of times, if your opponent you know, does have a lot of bio, like Jokji has, you know, he did go that Gasless Expanse, so he's going to have a lot of Marines. Not a lot of upgrades. It can be very, very difficult to deal with that first tank with Siege Mode and uh, Marines being healed by a medevac. Oh, it does get spotted going across the map, though. Uh oh, Jock has more Marines. And Bring it out SCVs to defend as well, and Marine yeah. King is forced to turn around. Smart decision. Without with the Siege SCVs Mode, Jock well. has a big advantage. Yep. Yep. Uh, it's actually really lucky for Jock that he saw that. Uh, Marine King moving in right now is a little bit risky. Siege Mode finishing just now. He's going to want to siege those tanks up immediately after Siege Mode finishes. And that's exactly what he does. And with one medevac, oh, that's going to no. help quite a bit. Oh, huge Siege Shell in the middle. Yeah. All those Marines takes out. And oh, this is exactly why this opening army. is so strong. Yeah, because there's just not a whole lot that Terran has that can deal with this so early in the game. Yeah, Marine King could potentially just win the game right here. We'll have to see. Here come the SEVs again. Medivac healing the Marines as best it can, and yeah, Marine King. That's it. Just gonna roll him right over. Excellent, GG. excellent push by Marine King. Wow. Yeah, really awesome. That was uh, really cool for Marine King. 
I wow. love that opening, man. I, you know, it's I didn't expect that he would actually do that. I'm like, we've never we never see that in the GSL. But yeah, yeah. and uh, and you were kind of right about. I was like, I was thinking kind of the old school build where even you see those two gas early on, it's like, oh, both uh -huh. Banshee, you know, right off the bat. But you're right, he actually had that build planned out perfectly. Yeah, he got just enough gas for Siege Tech and the tanks and the medevac, everything perfectly timed out and yeah. worked out perfect. And yeah, it almost. Jock G almost caught him out of position before Siege mode, but he kind of like danced around a little bit, and I don't think Jock G realized well, what advantage he had with those Marines, otherwise he might have attacked into that and tried well, to do some really damage difficult. before he got Siege mode. Uh, you know, it's really difficult too, because he saw those tanks, he doesn't know exactly when Siege mode is going to finish, or is going to finish, you know, I'm sure he doesn't, is, I'm sure he's probably not very familiar with the timing for something like that, yeah. because it's, it's just not very common. Um, like I said, you used to see that on NA quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, in the, I, I cast a lot of live events before I came over to Korea there, and, and I would see that all the time. I haven't really seen that in Korea very much, though, but I think it's a, a great opening. Glad to see uh, Marine King use it. Yep. Very, very so, cool um, stuff. <clears throat> Marine King goes up 1-0 yeah. against Jock G in a very, very short game. Short, sweet, quick. Demoralizing game, too. Demoralizing I mean, game. Yeah, yeah. Jock G's got to feel kind of crushed right now. Now, we're probably not going to see too quick of a game because our next map is going to be, in fact, Terminus Re. Ah, uh, yeah, that's probably right. And uh, often see more macro-oriented games there. I well, would not be surprised if we do see Marine King change his style up from that first game. And instead of going for a timing, decide to play a more uh, macro-y game. If you see a quick game on Terminus, it's usually because Blue Flame Hellions get dropped into someone's main and just kill all the SCVs. But, That's true. We might know, see or, that or as well, with, something actually. Something with Blue Flame Hellions. Yeah. Um, Every once in a while you see something like that. But you're right. It's probably going to be a longer game. I hope it is. I hope it's a longer hopefully, game. Hopefully I don't want so. the day to end yet, Moltrap. Hopefully a little bit more competitive. We've seen three absolute yeah. dominations in a row. I thought Three and a half dominations in a row because Marine King totally crushed Jock G there. So we're going to find out how very soon if... Jock G can show us some a little bit better games against yeah. Marine King. Let's find out. Game two on Terminus. <laughs> 